Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome. So yesterday we made this uh, technology tree functionality. Let me up the size a bit. And the inspiration is a bit of the Frostpunk um, system. These are not working, but these tabs. And then you can click the plasma tower and then it will be unlocked and it will actually be applied in the map. So uh, now it's like a one shot, one kill. And this is like working okay, but there's still a lot missing. So if you see a health bar, it means it's, um, especially these big ones. They should be one shot, one kill. I think they are. There are no health bars. So this means we can easily win this wave with this upgrade. But without the upgrade, let me just play it again. It's uh, way more difficult. It will require more shots. Let's just defend a little bit. The small ones are still one shot, one kill. But the big ones, they will have these uh, health bars. They will take two shots to be killed. And now they actually will reach the end, I think. Maybe we can hold. I think we can still hold. But yeah. Maybe these ones will get through. Yeah. And it's a GG. I just wanted to see the GG uh, part. With them jumping up and down. Uh, so nice. So what I want to do is uh, to first make a screen like this. I made a screenshot. So we have uh, some inspiration. Let me show you. Select research. I also have some code here. But this part, so when you select something, the steel works, it will display this, um, overlay how to call it this panel with some information about it and if you click a different one it will switch to that one so uh this is the name it's also here and then allows us to build a steelworks and the resource cost the time and here some extra information about the building that you're going to unlock and then if you press start it will actually unlock it so i think this is nice to have just a little room to uh, display some information about the upgrade and we don't have to fit it all in like this small detail this can be a bit more clean that way it still also says like um this will cost the wood but it will unlock the steel so it has like quite a bit of information as well for the resources and I think on every point you sort of see this icon. Just a nice touch that we might also want to do. Uh, so yeah, let's make this. I probably should have kept it open. So when we click, we're not going to um, immediately unlock the research like we do now. It's a click and we have it. We make a little bit of um, a model, the panel that will do this so uh let me go to the on click on click second button we're going to change the technology tree this is not it uh it's the on click in the blueprint code no in the yeah this code so we have these nodes 
And here I'm unlocking the plasma. Handle research unlock. So this is fine. Uh, but here are the clicks, I think. Mm, let's see. Yeah, so we have to unclick here. Um, and we sort of want to unlock a new model instead of doing this. So I'm not going to unlock the research. So when we click, nothing will happen at the moment. But I want to do something else. Uh, so I might want to just set the um, the parent. Can I get my parent or something? So what happens is we attach the we attach the the research node. Not here in the plasma. So this was a, a different thing. But here we have our uh, nodes, and it's just a plasma node we're adding. Hey, good morning, chicken. Yeah, it, it was time. I, I got some complaints. <laughs> I had to do it. I did. Uh, yeah, sometimes you have to give in. I was like, no, I like the beard. And then at a certain point in time. It had to go off. It will grow back. Don't worry. It will take some time. It's all about what I want. No, it's like give and take, chicken. It's give and take. Pick your battles. Um, it's about picking the battles. And fighting as long as you can. <laughs> Apparently it's all take. No, I, I don't mind the change like switching it up uh, i don't mind it at all i feel a bit uh, naked now but it's okay um shave your head as well <laughs> i might i might uh so no hair like no fuck indeed I'm a bit itchy, so if I'm like doing this, it's probably because of the beard. Um, but I'm, I think I do this all the time anyway. Um, so we have this plasma node, and it's in our uh, technology tree widget. So I'm just curious, like, can I get the parent? Okay, let's first make something I want to change. Like, let's make the a new blueprint. So we're going to make, uh, let me get the screenshot again. So we have a bit of a reference. So we're going to make like this window, some information, the cost, and then the unlock button. So let's make that widget. First. In the technology tree, we can make a new widget blueprint, make it a user widget, I guess. Yeah, for now it's fine. And uh, let's call it uh, the details unlock model user widget. I like to call things user widget, but I'm not doing it consistently. Also, use a widget, check out. Yeah, overall, Perforce has like issues with renaming things. Uh, blueprint, use a widget. I think we don't need to call it Blueprint. Now, this is a texture that we use. It's, a, it's not the final one. We have a lot of these textures, hopefully, in the end, with these uh, images, like I just took this image and we need like an image and maybe a border and design this a little bit in code. Um, but now we're focusing on this part. We can do only one thing at a time. 
So how should this look? I think it's like a horizontal box. Maybe make it a bit smaller, fit to content. Can we do that? I don't know. Uh, and we have a title, text box. Why is it so big? And the text is the, now let's just promote this to a variable saying uh, the research title. Let's just set the default value for now. Uh, change this. Okay. I think you can also set a preview value. And you can also do it with the property. So it's strange that it does not show anything. Uh, we need a vertical box. That's the issue. So not a horizontal, but a vertical. Uh, where is it? And it's very buggy, this whole UI. Okay, here you see the resolutions, but that can be pretty small. Uh, bind the text. Let's get a new text thing here. Okay, now it looks better. Text block, so I'm just saying um, the research note title save uh, put it in the center like this maybe make it bold it's already bold maybe make it like 32 i don't know bit of padding Looks okay, and then we bind it, and I think it will pick up this sort of preview indeed. So we have a bit of a preview how it will look. Okay, the next will be the description. Can be a different color. I think that's fine. So that's the let's do a bit of lorem ipsum. So we have a bit of a text. Just generate me something. Uh, let me copy it in. I don't want it to be too big. Maybe like this. Multiple line. Maybe it should be multiple line. Definitely should. So let's remove this one. And there's like a multiple line text box. But that's an input. Okay, then I think the original is okay. We just need to wrap it. Um, this is fit. Let me see what the setting is. Auto wrap. Yeah, nice. So we have a bit of uh, text. The description. Uh, the color, we can make it a bit gray like they do. There's a bit of a difference. I think it's a bit too, uh, maybe too long or too big. So we'll change it up a bit. This is too small. Yeah, I think it's good if it's on the longer side. Okay, then we have a cost. I'll do it for now with text, but uh, we want to do icons and stuff. So uh, maybe a line. 
but I think it's fine. So let's do a bit of padding here as well. Even 30, center it. I'm saying like, uh, cost uh, five resources. Say something like this and uh, let's do like a big number 200 also create a binding for this uh, yeah so this is all text so I can just make a, a new variable and I don't think I need the binding then so can I copy paste this yeah so research uh, description And I think the this should actually be an um, a binding because the cost I want it to be an integer. Research cost, and then I can create a binding and I can create uh, the text myself. First bind this one, the description, the title, maybe I can split it into two text. I think we can do it, but who cares? Let's just make a binding and then I get this uh, research research cost and convert it to this string and then we append make to string now we have to do some conversions then we can append and then we here we say resources so we can make our own text then we convert it back into this node. That's the binding. Okay. So we have a bit of information and I want to have a unlock button. Maybe we'll do some extra info. If it's like a building, um, we can sort of do it extra title description and cost and the image itself what building you will unlock. I think that looks nice. Uh, so yeah, for now we just make a, a button. We don't have to do everything in one go. Um, this is the unlock research button and with some text. Yeah, unlock. I think it's good enough. Let's make it fit the content and uh, it's a bit of an ugly button. What color do they use? They use like this bluish color. Uh, there's a bit more padding. Is this working inside? Okay. We need to have some padding inside zero. Can we maybe add some padding here? Yeah, a bit more. Something like this looks better. Yeah, this looks way better with the corners, with the nice border. I can make a bit of a border with the outline. We learned this yesterday. Can we make a whole game using blueprint? Yes, you can. And a lot of people do this. Um, yeah, it's like a full uh, system, uh, the blueprint system. You will run into some limitations, like um, the entity system we use is not supported uh, in blueprints yet. It's also not stable. But um, yeah, like the 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 all of the stable stuff you can also do in blueprint. So the cutting edge is sometimes only. Um, in C++. 
So yeah, it's um, if you want, you can do it. I just don't want to do it uh, personally because of um, yeah, it's all of a bit. Uh, yeah, it's get it's get uh, quite unstructured pretty fast, especially if you want to do math. It's like uh, one line of code uh, can be like uh, twenty nodes in blueprints. Uh, you want to learn about blueprints? I think you can just uh, read the docs. That's like a good start. Just uh, the official docs. I will link you something. If you want to learn more, you can just follow this. The blueprint class. What can blueprints do? Creating a hut, getting started, especially the getting started part. Let me link you the doc also for the Twitch chat. It will show you, and there's like a lot of things to learn about the engine itself. Like what is a player controller? What is a player state? You just need to learn a bit of the basics, um, but you will learn it if you work with it potentially. So I'm missing the on click event. Oh, that's because I uh, still search for things. On click. So here I sort of want to unlock the research and subtract the cost. So let me just print this for now. Unlock string. Unlock, uh, subtract, cost, unlock, research. I'm not sure what happens if you don't have the, um, yeah, no problem. Uh, if you don't have the cost, we have to make, maybe make the button red or something. I don't know how to handle that. We can look at uh, how, um, no, let's keep it in for now. How Frostpunk does it. Okay. So we have our, uh, widget, uh, and now I want to display it or hide it depending if we click nothing, it should not show, but if we click something, it should show in this technology tree, like to the right here on a fixed location. I think that works quite well. Uh, maybe we'll do it somewhere else, uh, in the end, but, uh, for now I think it fits to be a fixed location so I can add uh, a new thing by searching for this, uh, what did we call it? The details unlock model. Now we can drag it in the canvas and we'll see a pretty big widget. So let's see what happens there. Like. Can we select it? I can move it. Okay. There's like a screen. So one thing to notice is like, it's very big. It's too big. It can be like to be fitting like this. Okay. It's like a bit long text. So let's see how it looks in, um, in the game. It sometimes looks a bit different. Let's do a little bit of a small screen. Okay. Change this resources unlock. So it will override uh, the preview, but to change this will not even fit here. So I think the text overall can be much, uh, condensed. Like this is the same screen size. So I think it's too big. Let's, uh, reduce the size a little bit. And we only see this because we drag it in. We lost the widget. 
So this can be way smaller. It's now 24. Let's make it uh, 16. And now we can also see how big it is. And the research title can also be smaller. 24. Something like this. And we'll make it smaller. Something like this. It looks okay, I think. It's sort of similar. Maybe this is even less width. We can make this also uh, have a bit more padding. Uh, okay, I can do it like this. This is, I think, zero five. Okay. Uh, so I think, yeah, twenty five is the. So I can make it a bit more condensed like this, and not go to the top. I think it's readable. It's a bit more readable this way. Maybe center it. No, they don't do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to copy paste uh, what Frostpunk does at this point. It's a nice to uh, work towards something that you know is pretty okay. Okay, now it looks like this. So it will update the uh, the thing. I think this is okay. Sort of scales the text a bit if you zoom in and out. But it should uh, just fit. Okay, let's uh, see how it looks now. In game. Yeah, it's a bit too far on the top, I guess. Let's go full screen. Yeah, it can be more like here in the middle. Let's fix that. I think it has to do with the anchor. And then maybe to the Y zero. Yeah, it will sort of scale based on um that's not taking really the center point so it's hard to always uh, keep it in the center like this like they do it pretty centered yeah well i think it's okay for now but um yeah these details we'll just uh work on them later for now it's to get like the big picture also skills like way at yeah, this screen size is not something you have normally no okay it looks okay i think so let's hide it and show it when we uh press the button and this is quite difficult to do because we have to um we have to make sure all of the things connect all of the blueprints so we can uh, set the visibility for this, I think. Visibility, hidden. So let's save. So now it should not show. Yeah, now it's ha hidden. And when I press this button, the research tower, it will go into this widget on click and here i want to show it that's the first step so 
So I want to get the reference to like the parent widget. And I probably want to cast it to something. To create the type parent widget on, on your children and set the reference. Yeah, that was what I was afraid of. Uh, so we need to make a reference. Um, parent user widget and this is a a reference to a user widget and this is now an issue because we have like these um, these different widgets technology 3 1 and 2 and i want to have like a base thing where i put um put like the the model i think because else I have to, yeah, set like these different things. Let me make this a user widget, user widget, and call it the parent technology tree user widget, and that is the type we're going to use here. So I want to have access to this parent in the. Uh, click so let's make that into like the parent user widget what was it technology yeah this one and now i can access it and i do need to set this but before i can access it i need to set these uh, technology trees to be part of the parent instead of a normal user widget so it has some inheritance like this and also the other one. So we can have multiple graphs. Um, and now I want to also um, set here I can set a few things. This is the parent now. Yeah, so I can make it a bit more flexible with these buttons and stuff. Now we have some inheritance going on. But let's keep it simple. So this is the parent, it's like empty. Uh, so it will not be overridden, overriding a lot. Uh, but I do want to get this variable setting um what's, what's it called in the plasma plasma so it's like this details model widget I rename it So this one should be gone, I think. Even though we we sort of have it. And maybe I can just make um, a binding or something. Okay, let's make um, make a reference in the parent to this widget. The details unlock model user widget. So this is the details unlock model. Mm. I think we can do an override. That's good enough. So a function saying uh, unlock or show unlock model widget. And this will do nothing here, just an empty uh, function. But I can override this function now 
in these uh, classes. And I know we want to show this and I can add information to it. Yeah, I think that will work. Then we don't have to put like the, the widget in. And I can place it differently potentially for different screens. I don't think we need this, but still. Okay, so now I can override this function. Um, show unlock widget. I just want to make it work for now so I can get this and set visibility. Set visibility, there's also behavior. I think it's the same. Okay, so let's set it to visible. So uh, when we click the button now in this uh, blueprint, I can get the parent and I can set unlock or unlock show unlock widget and we will add some uh, details to uh, to this potentially like the research name the research description search description so text and uh, the research cost research cost that's an integer so let's also uh, include that in the parent function so you can add inputs research name as a text research description it's uh below my face right make it a bit on top that's better i'll duck like research description and the cost I can move myself, maybe that's easier. Research cost, an integer. Cool. Hey, agent, what's up, what's up? Nice. Yeah, so we have some input, we'll, we'll not do anything with it now, but, um, Here we do um, link those. So these are the inputs for this function. And the name calculated. It has like this unlocked attached to it. So we probably need to make a Boolean for this. Um, and the cost. So with this function, we have sort of a link between uh, this blueprint and the parent. And because uh, these also have parents, you can see it already. They will have these, uh, these inputs now as well. So we can set the visibility, but we can also set um, the name. Because in uh, this widget, I think we lost it again, the details. Here we have these uh, variables. So we have the, we have the, let's see, variables. Yeah, we have the research title. So we call it name, description and cost. And we want to display this in the widget. So we need to set these things. Um, and the workaround here is that for every technology tree, we will sort of have to make this function, but it's a very small one. 
Uh, so if I go to the plasma, I can just set it. Set the name. To this. Set the description. I set the cost. Which is an integer. So it should set uh because we have the bindings when we set this it should actually change it in the screen uh maybe the visibility can be last so after we set everything we set the visibility so we only show it um yeah if we click and it's already visible it sort of changes the text potentially we should make some more notes uh, to test this, we only have one node in this screen, but yeah, this is, uh, yeah, let's make, I think there's no way to make the blueprints uh, look, uh, good. I think below is probably better than, uh, horizontally. Okay. So, um, we have some code. There's still one thing missing in this whole, uh, thing to make it work. And that is to set the parent um class of this widget so we made this uh, this node and we need to set uh the variable for this uh that we have this parent because currently it's not set so we have the or is it the parent user widget um Maybe make it editable. Now we can expose it, but I think it, nothing will happen because it's in the blueprints. Um, so hopefully we can set it in this screen. Yeah, yeah. Parent user widget is this. Can I do that? I can set it, but it's um, invalid. It's like no results. That means we have to change, make it into a class, I think. Soft. Maybe. Maybe a soft reference will do it. Let's check it out. Uh, cannot compile. Show unlock model. Ah, I can do this. Okay. Let's test it out. Parent widget, a soft object. It's like two targets. Okay. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's see. Okay. And now I can set uh, the reference to be my own one. And then it crashes. Cast failed. Warning. I don't see it. Can we just continue? We can continue. But if we save it again. 
Okay. Seems to be set. Okay, let's test it then. So we now have this soft reference. And if we click it, it should show the widget. If we can compile. Unknown error. Where is this? Text log one. I'm not sure why it scales like this every time. Is this zero? Oh yeah, the binding. I changed the name and it was not changing the binding automatically. Now it's fixed. Okay, let's see if it works this whole uh, system. We don't see the widget, but we do see this issue attempted. Details unlock user widget is unknown. Here, this is a non. We just place this in our thing in the designer. So how can this be non? Maybe because it's not visible. Let's see what the visibility is. Maybe we can hide it without hiding it. Maybe if you hide it. Um, okay, let's debug this code. Like, what is happening here? Toggle, breakpoint. Let's see what happens. So I'm clicking. And this is none. And this is just coming from the widget itself, so that's very strange. And what if I change the visibility? Of this in the beginning. Will it then work? That it changes the text? It's still none. Okay, this is very strange. Uh, let's see what happens if we delete this. I cannot delete it because it's part of the designer. So if we rename this to something else, like uh, details, I don't know. Save, compile. It's now details. So there's a link between the widget. And it's automatically setting the type. And we do see the widget displayed here. We can click the thing. If we click this, is it actually none? No, it's not none now. Okay. I think it might still be. Let me just run it. Access trying none. K 
get use widget okay let's think about this maybe it's the context because this function is getting called from Yeah, this is just a normal one so i would expect it work but maybe because of we're in the context of this function that it does not work so let's uh just add the parent here like and then get it um maybe just this widget itself that could work instead of the parent Uh, it's getting too complicated now if we do this default value is this the issue the value is just the value Okay, now it's set with the default value. And we don't see any changes. Like the research name should be um, plasma. And this should be empty and the cost should be zero. And we don't see this at uh, a cost maybe, but the rest. Okay, let's try try to get the visibility back. I think uh, it's not linked now. It just takes the default value and uh, it does not have like the correct value somehow. So maybe we can also just on the game play or the construct just get this and get like the research name and print it out log string. See if that works on just a normal uh, begin play construct, if this is set or not. Change this. That's the value. So it does have uh, a value uh, attached to it. But if I do the same code here in the... Um, let me delete this. So what if I do it in a function? The same code. Will it also display change this? Or will it display something else? Plasma, two times. Uh, let's understand this. It's a bit weird. Like, how does it get plasma? The research name, target, user widget. We did not set this to plasma yet. So this is very strange. This was unexpected. Like I was expecting an error or change this, but not plasma. It definitely prints plasma. So this is impossible actually, because let, let me explain it. Like we're printing the research name of the model widget. And here we are setting it. This is the only place where we set uh, the name. So what is it doing? Like where does it get the name from? Is 
It's guessing the name. Okay, let me just restart the whole thing because I have a feeling it's bugged. If I don't understand this, uh, I cannot continue because it's like, uh, uh, what, what's happening? I think it's a bug in the compiling uh, thing that it still sets it or something in the blueprint. Now well, let's get to the bottom of this. And we also need to make these tier systems and they will work similar as a normal node. Uh, just that you can research it. And there will be some dependencies um, of uh, nodes you have to unlock. And um, yeah, this can just be a dependency on this and this. And then it will be grayed out and we can make like a hover effect as well for the tiers. So it will uh, work similarly as a normal note, I think. Let's uh, check this out first. That's very strange. Like that's also maybe a blueprint issue. Like uh, it's, it's on runtime and it's doing stuff and uh, it will probably be different now after a full compilation. That's my guess, because it cannot be the same. Because we disabled this code to set it. Okay, where is it? It's so slow. Where is the game? Okay, let me verify that we don't set the research name in the function. It's here. So yeah, we don't set the name. Let's remove the breakpoint. There's no connection here. Okay, let's see what happens after a full rebuild. Okay, and now we get an error, which I was expecting, none. Um, yeah, so it means that in the construct, it's not none, but in this function, it is none. So we don't have access to it in functions. So this is uh, unusable, and we want to use this. So I think we need to uh, make this an input of this function. First, oh, yeah, I have to do it in the parent. Um, and I just have to set it again. Like it, it's a bit of duplicated things. It's not like very pretty, but it is what it is. So we, this is the detail um, uh, user widget. Let's call it detail. Detail unlock model user widget. Uh, we can sh make like a bit of a shortcut for that. And in or a research node widget, we also have to get this research node somehow. Okay, what I think I have to do is to make a variable like this and say um, in the, the parent detail user widget. And we can set the default value. It's keep crashing. I think we can skip it. Man, what is this? For buggy stuff. What a buggy stuff. This Unreal Engine. You cannot even set a widget. Let's try again.
if it's a one-time thing or if it's like something vital yeah we're on a, a nightly sort of build unreal 5.4.a0 preview so that could be the reason of uh, this these bugs potentially it uh, should not really be stable yet it, it feels like pretty stable overall but issues like this are like a bit strange so this is the parent and I'm making a variable details user widget let's try again let's just save it first I think we have to compile before we can save it okay now it works so only one time thing okay let's see how it works on the technology screen now we will have this variable uh, and it this is a different one so now we should have two the the detail user widget and the model and this is the actual thing we use but I, I sort of want to get rid of this and use this one instead I'm not sure how to do this I think I have to do it in code um, like here details and attach it like to the uh, maybe on pre-construct can I attach a widget to the canvas so I have this canvas like I want to attach it to this panel Uh, not this one while I'm in the lives the not this one let me clean up my code a bit uh, this one canvas panel is variable okay we can set it to variable uh, and now we have the canvas I don't see it yet but get canvas panel okay and then attach uh, okay is there like canvas attach attach widget in blueprint and real add child to canvas add child to canvas okay let's see if it works and where does it will it place it like we don't see it in the preview and I don't see it in the code as well Maybe it's like below here now. This is a canvas slot. Just get the doc. Add shell to canvas. A widget object. Let's see the latest doc. on a specific position indeed set your pop-up widget at coordinate zero zero right click spawn it uh, 
Um, I think that's broken. Check this. Dynamically set get widget as canvas slot set size set position. I don't know. Is there also visibility? Set position, set Z order. Let's just test it if we see it. I don't see anything. I wish it would just display on the um, on the page itself. What's the issue? Trying to get none set size. So it does not attach it. Um, let's rethink this a little bit. Because I think um, we can make the parent a bit uh, more smart. Like the details will always be the same. Delete. Yes. Okay, so let's, um, let's resign this a little bit. So we have the skill box, we have the canvas panel, and then we have the notes in it. So maybe we can take this and put it in the parent. Uh, and it's sort of a bit weird with the inheritance with UI, but um, so let's remove all of these things from it. The horizontal box as well. So we just have uh, maybe the background. We will keep the background. The image is that that's the image. So we keep the background, and this is now the parent. And I can add this uh, box, the details, unlock widget in the parent, and drag it where I want it to be. The lorem ipsum is a bit um, too big, I think. What's going on here? Okay, yeah, now it's better. Okay, weird. It sort of scales it and then doesn't do it. Well, let's do it like this for now. Does not matter. And then um, compile, save. And in our technology tree, we can get rid of all of these things. But we want to keep this. So I have to clean it up like this. I'm not sure what this canvas panel is doing, but. It's a bit random. But center it just in case. So we have the same sort of layout. And I think now what happens? Let's just not do this. Okay. One more thing, technology tree, economy, what's the issue?
Oh, we have the same. Both have a widget hierarchy which is not supported. Yeah. So here we also have to get rid of the uh, the scale box. And scale it back in. So it looks like, like this without the background. And that's sort of nice. Then we only need to change the background in one spot if we want to change it. Uh, we can do like a preview maybe. But the issue is we don't see the background. But it does, I think, scale and fit. Yeah. So uh, the issue is, I think, with the canvas. That uh, we have now a canvas in the canvas and it will only show the top one. Um, so I think an easy fix is to copy the background in this canvas and remove it from the parent. Uh, I'm just trying things out at this point. Like, I don't know. Let's see. So let's add the background back in. As long as it works, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, let's remove it then from the parent. Background image example. So this is actually not used. Um, and we sort of have to copy paste a lot. Can compile. Technology tree user widget. Yeah, it's still like strange with this canvas. Yeah, we have to get this right. Let, let's think, what's the issue? Try to create a property image zero. Let me just rename it image test. This one also is not compiling. Image one, image zero. Let's rename it image test background. That's the issue. I think we can still not display the model like this. Okay, let's yeah, let's just see how it looks. So I think the parent is not doing a lot. Like it should still display like this widget at this spot. Uh, so inheritance in uh, widgets, how does it work? Inheritance widgets. Unreal. <clears throat> One sec. Uh, yeah, so what is like the deal with this? How should we do this? The pick does not show up when you make a widget blueprint. You can still blueprint props and reparent it. The widget design the content is still empty. And now when I use the child widget in place of the parent one, nothing shows up. Using the parent one shows up fine. All I wanted to do is override some functions in the child, not even change the design. You can definitely create a widget, a child widget, when you go to create a new blueprint. Right click in the content browser, select blueprint, and then create a new.
Yeah, so we have the reparent. Okay. So maybe you were thinking of this in the wrong way with these parents. Yeah, this is, we have the parent, but use a widget inheritance. Refuses to save the value. You can't inherit blueprint widgets. That's a limitation. The best you can do is to make each element a custom user widget. All right, let, let's think about this. So I think the parent uh, system is not working that well. We can call a function, but we cannot really show uh, the widget. So what else can we do? Um, so this is a wrong approach. I think this should be empty. And that sort of works with the boxes, but the panel is not working. So the skill box and the, the other box are working as far as I can see. But I think that's sort of the limit of, uh, of the whole thing design wise. It's not really supported in that you can add other stuff. Okay. So I want to add the widget back in this place, the details we have to. There's no way to make this uh, flexible. Just scale it down a bit. Make it the correct size. And we have to do this for every window. Because I think I want it in the same sort of widget. But maybe we don't need to. Put it in like this. Maybe it can be a completely separate widget on top of it, you know? Maybe we're thinking of it the wrong way. Just attach it to the viewport in like the player state or something. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, Changed up a little bit more. So this will be clean without a widget showing. And then in the, I think where we define the technology stuff now in the player controller, we're also going to define this user widget and we'll just make the higher Z value, place it on top. That's at least a workaround. So we have these technology widgets, which we show or not show. We made the whole system yesterday. Um, and we can set it in this array, but let's also do this for the details one. The detail node user widget. It's only one, so not an array. And we can edit this anywhere. This user widget. And this is a class, I think. Um, this is read only. Okay. Yeah. And in the world settings, we actually have it in the world settings. For the technology, we can have different technology trees for the world. But in this case, we can keep the same model for everything. So we don't need to use the world setting, but uh, we do need to set the, the class. Let's just do it in the player controller for now. 
Um, the class first. The details node user widget class. And this is a, uh, we can set this and we can read this. Uh, so yeah, let's just run this code again. And we just make it a bit bigger, like two. And we set this class here. And this is the, we don't need to use the I thing. We can just use a normal string. The details widget. Set visibility to be hidden. Add to viewport, push. Let's rename it, the details node user widget. We already have this here, the details node user widget. So we're just going to use this. We don't need to push it to an array. Okay, cool. Um, I have half an hour left and then I have to go, uh, do some work. So I have to watch the time a little bit. Um, let me set the alarm just in case I will forget this. Let's just do it like 13, 20, five. Have a little bit of time to 29 minutes left. Nice. Okay, so we uh, create the widget and we uh, make sure it's on top of this one, on these ones. And it's hidden by default. So now we have a little bit more control, I think, over the code. Um, it will look like a bit ugly like this. So maybe we can just make it in a canvas. Like, why is this always rescaling? It would be nice to that it looks good uh, just as it is. Maybe add a canvas here. It's so buggy, this whole code. I have to, if I want to put a canvas on top, just have to do it like this. And now I can hopefully Why is it not wrapping now? Because of the canvas? The fertile box, how big is that? Oh it's like not the right size now. I think the wrapping is a bit behind. Maybe if we compile, yeah, if we compile it sort of sets it. So now it looks better. It would also look great if we reopen it again. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, try to get this in. We have a few minutes left. Uh, we can do it. Um, so I just want to make this visible now. This widget. That's the only thing we need to do. And uh, I should be able to get it uh, from the player controller. So this is the code I want to run. So player controller.
Yeah, and then I think I can run this in the parent. So I don't have to override it. That will save me a lot of time because then I don't have to copy paste it a million times because now there's like no connection really to the uh, technology widget. Uh, there is with, um, with the notes. Okay. So I get the player controller. And here I can get, uh, I have to cast it to uh, my own player controller thingy. Let me just make a bit more room. And now I should have this uh, details. Now this is the blueprint. Cast to tower defense. Yeah, this is the CPP file. Uh, yeah, I still have to rebuild. I think uh, details. Yeah, it's rebuilt. So I want to get this widget, and then uh, yeah, set the location stuff like that. I can do it also in code. It does not have to be anchored. We can just set like a uh, position for it. Yeah, the, these anchors are sort of nice to work with, but that's yeah, okay. Just to show it like based on the screen in the middle. And we can work around it. That it's not connected in one widget. That's like not a big deal. They have like this effect in Frostpunk that if you select like this one, this will sort of move to the left. But I don't think that's really necessary. It's sort of a nice to have. And we can still make it like, depending on where you click, if it's too far to the right, we just move the other things left. All right. East late hidden returned a null pointer. Yes, true. That's my mistake. I have to set uh, the widget in the player controller before I can do this. But I don't really need to Yeah, I think I need to make it known to uh, C++ what widget it is. Currently, it's just a use widget. But uh, I do need to have the context. Uh, I can cast it. it. It's fine. But it's a bit buggy, um, potentially, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, controller. And here we can set um, the details. Note user widget. So this is the widget. And this is the class. And we only need to set the class. The other one is set by, uh, we can even, we should not be able to set this. So here we can set the details user widget. All right. And now in the parent, we should be able to get it, the details, the user widget, so not the class. So this actually created on the screen. We still need to cast it uh, to a details because it's uh, like a default one in the controller. It doesn't know about this one. All right, and now we have the widget and we can set the values. And the visibility. Um, 
there's still things to do <laughs> to subtract the cost and stuff like that and to unlock it. But that's like a, a worry for later. This is the base, basic functionality. Let's see if it works. Runtime issue. Let's look at the log. What's the issue? Access is none. So it does not have a parent. Mm. I think this worked before, so... Um, Let's fix it back. I think we don't need uh, this soft reference. So we can use a normal one, an object reference. Okay, so this parent is using this function um yeah we still need to delete the over the overridden one because now it's sort of running this one and we don't need this uh and i still need to set it i think again to this node so every node i have to set the parent widget i get like this weird cast check field maybe that's also an issue Let's see. It's again this parent. Is there not like a functionality for this? Like get parent. And what do we get? Get the parent widget. Yeah, I think this is probably better than having to set it. Um, that's way better. Cast to a technology parent. Parent technology user widget. I think that should be it. And then we can call it. Let's see if this works. Uh, parent technology tree user widget. It's a panel widget. panel widget so we get the parent that is like this horizontal box or something of this like this is the oh wait let's close this one this is um the plasma and the canvas panel is then the parent can i work with this so I'm not, I'm looking for the user widget. Get parent user widget. I found the answer. You need to use the outer object. Okay, nice. So we can use the outer. Yeah, I have learned about this in code. So it makes sense. So. Instead of the parent, we can get the outer, get outer object. 
and cast it. Like self. Get outer. And this self, this, is there like some self? Get parent, get outer, get outer. <laughs> widget tree, use a widget. All right, that's interesting. Okay, I think uh, we can do it like this. It, it's getting like pretty, uh, yeah, it's always with this. So we have the parent, that's a canvas, and we can get the outer. And that is something. I think in our case, that is the, um, the object itself. Let's test it. It's not crashing. It's not working. Mm, let's see if it runs the code. Maybe it's failing this cast. And this is a widget tree class. Okay. So this is not the correct one. Let's get outer again. Maybe this one will be it. We can just do it one by one. Yeah, this is a widget class and this we should be able to, yeah, cast. Okay, let's see. Hey, and we get like a nice widget with Plasma, the resources and no description because we don't have one yet. But if I make one uh, in the Plasma, uh, this should be like this variable. Research description, I could say, uh, makes the plasma tower shoot two times the damage. Something like this, some description. So we have to set uh, the location. Remove this toggle. Now we see also the text, uh, change location of user widget, anchor to left center, unreal. C++. Maybe I should use JGPT for this. Let's see if this YouTube video is telling us anything useful. Yeah, anchors. Is it C++ code? No, no C++ code. Um, yeah, I think we can just set the location of this widget. Okay. 
I cannot type. Set location. Set position in viewport. Set position in viewport. Remove DPI scale. So I need to get the viewport size. A real. CPP file. C plus plus game viewport. So depending on your resolution, we should draw it somewhere else. Viewport, get size, X, Y. So what I'm looking at. It's a bit outdated, but I'm not sure if it's like a static one or something else seems to be pretty static work like this no so what is a viewport how can i get it Viewport client. I just need to get some example. Get viewport. Get active viewport. From the editor. Okay, I have some code here. Include engine. Okay. Do we already have the engine core minimal? Let's see. So this is uh, returning the size of the viewport. We already had like the thing, but um, minus the the width of this thing. Get width use a widget. Uh, I have to look up get local size. Test it out. Local no, size. Widget size. Uh, so we do it minus this widget size X. Oh, I'll give it a bit of padding. So 
we need to make it into a vector. And the same for the Y coordinates. Just a little bit of detail. So we center it in the code. Nice, nice. Let's uh, test it out. Yeah, so a uh, bit of a struggle with these widgets. And we still need to unlock like the thing, the research. But I think that will be uh, probably easier than this part. Um, we do need to have like a reference to the node. And... Um, and set it. Uh, I probably will work on it a bit off stream to get this in. It's just mainly, um, yeah, struggling with these references. I can do that while watching my kids. So let's see what we get with uh, the sizing. So we take the viewport minus the widget size and I think this should be minus. We should reduce the, so there's like a little bit of space between the beginning and the end. Let's test it now where it's placed. And we set the correct uh, description. Where is it? It's completely off. It's down here. So yeah, this should actually be half of the size. Um, the X is fine. This should be centered. Like this at the middle. And is it sort of off the screen now? Well, can check it now. Let's do a last check. Yeah, at least we can control it with code like this. The position that it's always like in the center. We don't have to use anchors. It's sort of cool. Yeah, I just want to see it the last time. And then... We have done two hours in the stream. That's okay. It's not as productive as it was yesterday, but um, it's still okay. Like these details take a lot of time overall. We just have to struggle with them a bit longer and it still does not look great. You know, we still need to make it look good. It just takes a lot of work, this uh, whole UI stuff in a game. We need to still make like a menu and main menu options. All of this stuff is not really that fun to do, but sort of necessary. Okay, where is it displayed now? I think it moves like outside of it. It was here if I'm resizing it. So I think it moves too, uh, too much to like the left. Um, yeah, I'll debug this later. Thanks for watching everybody and have a good day. Uh, hopefully see you next time.